Bradford Ben in the AV Nation studios at Infocom 2021. I'm here with Ron Altero from Blonder Tongue to talk about some of the new products from Blonder Tongue and to really familiarize people with Blonder Tongue for those who aren't familiar with them already, which I guess is a circular reference. Yes, uh, that's right. <laughs> it's a feedback loop. So, hi, Ron. How are you? Nice I'm to be here. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm Ron Alterio, CTO of Blonder Tug. Happy to be here. Yeah, I'm happy to be anywhere, and I'm glad to that's be right. seeing people. That's right. The first longest I've been out of my house in 18 months. Yep, yeah, that's, that's the same for me, yeah. So, obviously, you're here. It's a big show. I'm going to ask you the, the big questions All that right. everyone wants to know. All right. What's new? So... Um, what's new with Blonder Tongue? A lot, actually. Um, you know, like, like everybody else, we haven't been at shows for a year and a half, so we've been very, very busy. Um, Blonder Tongue kind of sits in the area of what we call the demarcation edge. Um, so we've been working on three major lines of products. Um, one has been around for a while, we've been continuing it, and um, there's two new ones. So where we kind of sit is the translation of digital um, content between what we call the demarcation, which may be an MSO to a site, um, you know, it, any kind of service to a particular, you know, maybe a um, multi-dweller unit, university, hotel, motel, that sort of thing. So um, we have three major lines. One is our next gen system. Um, the next gen system is a rack mounted system and it has three basic types of, of blades in it. They're the removable blades. So a a property can choose what, how they want to translate the digital content. So for instance, um, there are um, input blades. Um, it could be, um, you know, dash input, IP, QAM, um, cable card. We have um, blades in the middle that will um, add encryption to it, will um, transcode it, will transrate it, do all those things to take it from one, you know, one side of digital content to another. And it, so it translates. So we have our next gen system. Um, we have a new SDI input blade coming in. Um, so there's IP, SDI, um, HDMI. We have a new HDMI 4. So the idea is whatever, however you want to bring the content in and then output it, um, we have that system. Um, we also have blades that'll output clear QAM, encrypted QAM, ProIdium, um, IP, um, SRT um, as, as a backhaul. And so we've taken that technology, um, which we've made it very modular. So um, we're able to take that technology and change the inputs, change the outputs, um, kind of bespoke as we find need. Um, we have our, our Clearview line, which is a new line of 1RU um, units. Uh, we have our Clearview Plus, which is a transcoder. Um, it can transcode from MPEG H.264, H.265, um, to any one of those as well. Um, audio, AAC, MP3, um, Dolby Digital, and we can transcode those as well. You can also transrate. Um, we have uh, our, our brand new product that's coming out. It's called an HDMI to QAM, the Clearview HDMI to QAM. That is a local ingress, so you have local content. Um, you bring it into the unit, the unit can output that clear QAM, it can output that in IP, either UDP, RTP, or um, has an SRT backhaul to it. Um, we have our um, Clearview 4.2, which is a very basic um, H.264 to MPEG. That's for a very specific use case. Um, we have our HD Quam that does not have the IP output. So what you're seeing here is a theme of where we're taking um, our Broadcom-based you know, IP modular, and it, we can change it, so bespoke to allow for, um, you, for a customer to bring in content from wherever they want to and to transcode it, transrate it, um, change it into whatever kind of content they need for that, that specific property. So gives them a lot of flexibility, gives them good property, uh, management of content and quality of the content throughout the entire property. At a great price, yep. Always an important thing. It's always an important thing. You can have the best technology in the world, yeah. but uh, so if now once you purchase it, you said they're all blade 
devices. So in theory. Yeah, sorry, um, l let me back up. The, the next gen system is a blade based system. The Clearview system is a one RU standalone. So what we've mm -hmm. done, we've taken the same technology that's in those blades, we pulled it into a one RU, which makes it a little cheaper, a little more bespoke. Um, depending on very specific use cases, they may not want the larger bladed system, which has its own cost with the chassis and you know, et cetera, et cetera. And um, so in the one RU, um, a customer can choose exactly what they want, and we have a full line of those. So then with the one RU, so with the blades, you'd be able to swap out a blade to get the different inputs, but I'm assuming with the one RU, you purchase it and that's the one. That's it, yeah. 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 Which is fine, it's yeah. just one of those things if I want to make sure I'm understanding the yep. product. Yep. So, uh, where is this aimed at? I have my ideas of this is what's going to be powering my house, uh, but I don't have enough rooms for it. I have right. a hundred more for media centers stadiums and hotels and the yeah. like, but I want to I want to get it from you. Well, we've actually we've actually got a lot of pull from um, from the broadcast side. Um, there's also the our HD Matakwam IP or Clearview HD Matakwam IP also has an SRT backhaul. So where, where we're finding a lot of pull from that is, um, you know, you have a lot of systems now that are um, very proprietary. Um, new and proprietary. So it's not just an MSO, it's not just a major cable company. You have more proprietary. So a lot of um, a lot of properties want their local content, which might be a front door, might be a pool, might might be a stage. You know, if you're in Hawaii, maybe it's a luau, they want to show it at the bar. So how do you backhaul that? So um, our Clearview HDMI to Quam IP can actually SRT that back to the cloud they integrate that into their offering and serve it back to the property. So it's really anywhere where there is a translation required of digital content from one thing to another. Okay, and then you said it goes up to the cloud for integration and then comes back down. Mm -hmm. And I apologize, but I didn't ask you this ahead of time. Are there on-premises solutions like that where you can just do it all on site instead of having uh, cloud access because some of the sure, sure. projects, so you know. Our, our whole Clearview series, they, they, the HD Matakwam IP, again, um, it has Clearquam out, so um, a local signage, if you have a Quam based system, um, you're, you're covered there uh, for local content. Um, and um, the IP portion of it, if you have an IP system, you can serve out set-top boxes, endpoints, whatever IP, or you can backhaul it. So it's kind of a, you know, we, we kind of think of it as a Swiss Army knife um, for digital content. No, it sounds like it, it definitely would have made my life a lot easier with not having to re-encode content every time. That's the idea, yeah. So, appreciate the time. Uh, sounds like there's a lot of new things happening. We have a lot of exciting stuff going on at Blonder Tongue. Uh, so where can people learn more about it or get in touch with you if, if um, they want to You can go to www.blondertongue.com. Um, there's contact information in there. Um, I'm Ronald Altieri. You can email me directly, raltirio at blondertongue.com. Um, but feel free to give us a call. We're, we're happy to talk to anybody. And I can tell you from using them last century, I'm not going to admit that again. Uh, they've <laughs> yeah. been a great resource for me as I've had to design large systems. So definitely worth giving them a call uh, as you're designing the systems. Thank you. Thanks. So I'm Bradford Ben wrapping up for this episode. Uh, hope to see you again on our next episode. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you're enjoying Infocom 2021 coverage from AV Nation.